weather has calmed down a little bit, not too much, but still, nonetheless, good soccer weather for everyone who wants to come down to the Echo Park for the 2013 NCAA Club Soccer Showcase. Choice Wireless, one of the sponsors here for this event. Again, cleared out by Kelly Cornell. Lady Lobo, and then it goes out of bounds and stays with the Lady Pioneers from Denver who were up on top. Two to nothing, 325 and ticking left in the ball game and some. We always want to say that and some because you never know when it's going to end. <laughs> it, uh, the clock all, never reflects when, what the, the referee is averaging. It's a, it's a little different in NCAA. They do count down. It goes down to the, the final um, second on the clock. So it is a little bit different in NCAA. Most soccer situations, you have no idea when it's going to end. Gonna end yeah. <laughs> Could go on for another two or three or four minutes. Yeah, the NCAA has uh, different time rules than uh, any other form of soccer. Again, here comes the Lady Lobos on the attack with Ashley Territorio. Had an opportunity there, and then she loses it. And the control back to the Lady Pioneers. Pioneers trying to control it here, try to burn some clock, try to keep it on their side of the field and try to run down this clock. Couple of minutes left, 2.30 and ticking left in the ball game, 2 to nothing in favor of the Lady Pioneers and they have controlled this ball for pretty much at least, you'd have to say at least five-eighths of the game. Yeah, they um, have done a really good job of possession. Um, string together uh, more passes than the, the Lady Lobos on the offensive end. Um, part of that has been a result of the Lobos not getting enough players in support of the attack. I think um, very often players left sort of with no place to go, if you will. Whereas the uh, Pioneers do a little bit better job of moving as a unit and always have a new option uh, for a pass. Lobos have done a good job of pressuring the ball and trying to force the mistake out. Um, they uh, haven't done quite as uh, good a job at creating an opportunity for somebody to shoot as soon as they get the ball on the other end. And that's the, been the difference in the match, really. And the Lady Pioneers continue to uh, dominate in terms of time of possession with the ball, uh, which has been to their benefit at this point. 118 and ticking left in the ball game, two to nothing is the lead for the Lady Pioneers over the Lady Lobos in this exhibition game here in the spring here in Towns, New Mexico. Rudy Baca, Jake Mazeman with you here. And uh, clock continues to run. Run. One minute job, left in the ball game. Trying to pressure there. And again, Tina Vargas will clear it out for the Lady Pioneers. And she'll get a nice boot on it. And that will go to the left side trying to get it is one of the Lady Lobos just misses it. Lady Pioneers doing a good job of controlling this thing. Way down on the other side. And 26 seconds and ticking away here. And the Lady Pioneers will retain possession here as they have controlled the ball throughout the second half. A little more than the Lady Lobos, and the score indicates that. Ten, Ten nine, seconds left in the game, eight, and we seven, have the countdown six, by the public, five, public address four, guy. So, three, two, and that one. will do it, and that's the end of the ball game as the Lady Pioneers from Denver University will come up with the win here, two to nothing over the. Lady Lobos from the University of New Mexico down in Albuquerque. And what a game this has been here, Jay. Yeah, two very different goals. Uh, one scored early um, by the Pioneers off of a, a good build. Uh, ball played into the right flank. Excellent cross, touched in. Um, just like like I said, when it happened, exactly the way you, you draw it up in practice. Second goal, late. Um, pretty much an individual uh, taking advantage of an opportunity that was presented to them. Uh, pressure was late getting to them, right on the edge of the box, close enough to shoot, lifted her head up, saw that the opportunity was there, and put in a cracker of a shot. And it hit the uh, crossbar on the right side of the, the curve this yep. time, and it bounced right into the goal. Not much that the goalkeeper could do there. She was in decent position, a little bit off of the line from the shot, but it was a, a quick shot, and uh, 
excellent use of a, uh, an opportunity as it presented itself. Uh, yeah, and, and in my view, it seemed like time of possession was really favoring the Lady Pioneers from Denver University, and that was pretty much the, the deciding factor in this game, uh, being that they controlled it a little bit more often on their side of the field, had more opportunities at, at the scoring, and managed to get a couple of goals in, as you mentioned, and that's the final. The Lady Pioneers 2, the Lady Lobos 0. We'll take a 10-15 minute break. We'll do some interviews with these players down and their coaches. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Uh, welcome uh, everyone again to the 2013 uh, Choice Wireless uh, Club Soccer NCAA Showcase. <laughs> 